Welcome students to this week's spelling netcast. Let's make sure that we're prepared. Please students make sure that you have these items with you. Okay. If you need these items and you don't have them, please talk to me and we'll see what we can do about getting them for you because you need these items so you can cut, you can write, you can glue, you can store, etc. Okay. So please talk to me. Let's get you ready and, and where you need to be. All right. Again, scissors to cut with, pencil to write with, glue stick to glue your heading in. That's important. You need your Ziploc bag to store your word chips in so you stay organized. Your book to write in. And last but not least, your word sort or your word for this week. Let's take a look at them. All right. This is sort 28. We're dealing with words that um, have O-R, O-R-E, O-A-R. And it looks like we have kind of an interesting, we have W plus O-R. I'm going to show you all of this week's words real quick. Okay. There they are. Don't they look beautiful? All right. Now, it's important that we um, pause the video right now. Go ahead and cut out your words. Remember the little trick? Cut your, your words out into columns, and then you put the columns on top of each other and cut across, and that saves you a little bit of time. All right, pause the video and cut out your words. Let's go ahead and proceed next with gluing in our heading. Run a few strips of glue across your, your heading. Let's go ahead and get that glued in. First thing, again, this helps us stay organized. On top of things, Mr. Powell will be looking closely to make sure that you've done that. All right. Let's go ahead and start with our exemplars. Let's go ahead and start with this one here. So go ahead and move your exemplar up like Mr. Powell does. And then let's write the exemplar straight above it. All right. And this exemplar is OR. And the sound it's going to make is kind of a long sound. You're going to actually hear a long O in the word. Or, everybody say or. Can you hear that O, or? Kind of a long sound. All right. Let's go ahead and grab another one, another exemplar. This one is O-A-R. And if we just say um, this exemplar, it's, it's an actual word, like or, a, a boat or. All right. And as we say it, or, we can hear that, that O, that long O sound in there. Okay. All right. And then our next one is, guess what? Or. This or, if we were to just say the exemplar, because exemplar is an actual word, this would be like or as far as like minerals of the earth. We consider certain minerals of the earth type of or. All right. And then we have a W. Let's move it over here. We have a little more room. Let's write W plus OR. And this one is going to make kind of a schwa sound. When the, the W is included, it changes the way that this OR, it's not going to make this, this, this long sound. It's going to be more of a schwa. It's not long. It's not short. It's kind of a sound all to its own. Okay? It's going to be the schwa. So it's, it's not going to make, we're not going to hear that distinct long O sound when we have the, the W with it. All right? And then we may have a few oddball words this week. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and remember this um, first exemplar was or. And if we bring this word up, it's form. Everybody say form. 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 We can hear that or sound in there. And again, it has a kind of a long O sound in there. Um, it's not going to fit under any of those. It doesn't have an A. It doesn't have an E in it. There's no W. It could be an oddball, but it definitely has the OR. So that's going to go under this OR sound. Form. OR. Form. 
as we say it, we can hear that or sound in there. Okay. All right. Now, I'd like you to let's put a box around the exemplar. And I want you guys to become fam really familiar with the exemplar in the word. And then look at the other letters in front of it, if there are letters or a letter or letters in front of it or behind it. And that'll help you to be able to spell the word. So if this word form falls under the OR, then we can say, okay, OR is part of the spelling. And then what's the first sound? We have the F sound and then we have the M at the end. That kind of makes it easier on us. Okay, our next word is board, and again, this is making the or sound, and it doesn't have an E, there's no W, so it's going to go under the O-A-R, and there sure it is, sure enough, O-A-R. So we're going to write board, B-O-A-R-D, kind of a big word, but again, I want you to highlight, circle, put a box around the exemplar, okay, because if you can spell the exemplar, O a R, then again, you're just looking at the letter or letters in front of the exemplar and behind the exemplar, and again, it makes spelling the word much easier, okay? Or board, or board, all right? Okay, let's take a look at, um, here we have work, and, uh, you know, this one is a little different. It, uh, it has the OR, I almost put it in that one, but it doesn't sound, we don't hear the OR. It's not work, it's work. This word is work. And again, it's, it doesn't make that, that, that OR sound. So, look, it has a W, there it is. So we're going to have to move it over and include it under the W plus OR exemplar. And again, it makes a different sound. It's kind of a schwa sound. It's not long, it's not short. It's kind of a sound of its own work. All right, so what's the exemplar? W plus OR. There's the W plus OR. And then all we have to do is remember that that last letter is the K sound, work. And it is K. Again, we've got to find those little clues to help us remember how to spell the words. All right. Here is another word. Here we have more, right? And it makes the or sound, right? And it has the O-R-E, so let's put it under the O-R-E exemplar. Makes the or sound like in form, the or sound in board, and once again, O-R-E is, makes that or sound, and we have the word more. Let's circle exemplar. Okay. Circle exemplar, and then, once you've got that memorized, then all you have to remember is the beginning sound, the beginning letter sound, which is M. M. More. All right. Let's quickly go through and do another row, another row. Uh, another set of words across, and then I'll let you guys come and go to work on your own. Here we have fork. It doesn't make the or sound. Well, maybe it does. Maybe it does. Fork. For or 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 it does. Okay, so it's gonna go. It doesn't have the the e. It doesn't have the o a r. So it's gonna go under the this one here. Fork or or circle exemplar, and then again, the beginning sound is the F, and the the last sound is K, which is K. All right. Ah, oh, this one's gonna be kind of easy. Hmm, I wonder where that one's gonna go. Hmm, or 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 or. Oh, look at that! It is the ex the exact exact exemplar. Or. And let's circle the exemplar. Wow, if you memorize the exemplar, there you go. You've got it made. All right. We have storm. Storm. Okay, and I think that one would go there. Let's see if we can't find another one here that would go under one of these two. All right. 
Uh, this one's sure, and again, we can look and see that it has the O-R-E, and the beginning sound is sh, and we know that that letter combination is S-H. Circle the exemplar, and again, the beginning um, sound is a blend, the S-H blend. So once you got that memorized, then it makes it a whole lot easier to memorize the word. All right, let's see if we can't find one more. How about this one? What about this one? World. World. Does it, does it make the or sound? Like in form? Or board? Board. World. It doesn't, does it? So it's going to go under the, the W plus OR. So there's our W plus OR. So if we circle that exemplar, part of the exemplar, then we just have to remember that LD comes at the end. World. And again, this is not long nor short. It's kind of a schwa sound. It's a sound of its own. All right. There are a few oddball that neither fit the W plus OR or the O-R-E, or the O-A-R, or the O-R. So I'll let you guys go ahead and finish and see if you can find uh, the few oddball words that accompany this word list. Um, remember, tonight I still would like you to, to do a lay and say. So um, turn the page and uh, go ahead and write lay and say. And remember, as you're... Um, laying the, the words, the word chips down, you need to make sure you're saying them so you can hear those um, clear, distinct sounds. Um, your first exemplar was the OR, and that makes the, the OR sound. And then we had um, OAR, if I'm not mistaken, again, makes the, the OR sound. Uh, we had ORE, another OR, okay, it kind of makes the, the long the long uh, O sound. Let me erase this here. Mr. Powell's kind of funny. Alright. And to underline it. There we go. And again, these all, you can, as you say them, you can hear kind of a, uh, a long O sound in there. And then we have the, the W plus OR. And this is the one that makes a sound all of its own. We call it schwa. And it's neither long nor short, kind of a different sound. And then we have three oddball words this week. Let's see if you can figure those out and find them. All right. And again, um, with this lay and say, you're mixing everything up again, and you're not just writing um, the words from the video down twice. That's not acceptable. You need to mix them up and, and practice sorting them where they go. Lay it, say it, and then then write it. Okay? All right. Get you off to us. Get started again. Let's go to something that we didn't do on the previous page. Let's go to this word. We didn't use this one as an example, but we have the word store. Where's it going to go? Yeah. Under the O-R-E. And we hear that or sound. Store. Or. Store. S-T-O-R-E. And again, it looks different because this wasn't even used in the lesson that Mr. Powell shared with you previously. So, again, mix them up and uh, go for it. All right. Remember, students, to um, take your words and put them back in the Ziploc bag for safekeeping. All right. Because you'll be doing um, other sorts this week, and so you need to keep track of your stuff. All right. We expect great things of you. You're awesome. Um, get your work done. Remember, because I'm expecting a lot of you tonight, which is Monday night, and uh, most of your time is going to be spent, most of your 20 minutes is going to be spent doing um, the video and lay and say. You can um, do your, you can start your vocab uh, video tomorrow night, Tuesday night.